Today I'm gonna tell you guys how Jack Hanma became this from this and how he got in this situation. At the age of 16 when Yujiro Hanma was fighting in Vietnam War, he met Diane who was hiding underground with a gun but after seeing Yujiro's cute face she joined her team. She also tried to flirt with my boy but since my boy was a man of culture he handled the situation like a gentleman or I should say gentle boy. Feel your skull like an orange right now if I wanted to. Listen, you should stick with me for a while. He kind of liked her so he let her travel with him. But later Diane showed her true colors and betrayed Yujiro because that's what these bitches do. But later Diane showed her true colors and betrayed Yujiro because she was a secret agent of US and in return Yujiro raped her. After this Yujiro shows his demon back for the first time and Diane was left traumatized. Nine months later Jack Hanma was born after which his mother left him and became bald. Jack Hanma started training from a very early age and my man's will was so strong that he was training 30 hours a day. Also a lot of times he didn't use to eat any food which gave him multiple benefits because no food equals no poop equals time time saved. But of course it had a little drawback. He wasn't gaining any strength or muscle and was basically just punching a non-living bag and was trying to lift weights every day. Then a doctor came into the picture who saw Yujiro Hanma doing the PP training with the female polar bear after killing the male polar bear. But of course the doctor himself or almost any other person couldn't do the PP training with the polar bear because it takes more than two balls to have sex with the polar bear. So after years of research and hard work he finally created Miss X4 and steroids. Later he found out that Jack Hanma is the perfect person that can do the PP training with Miss X Fortune steroids and handle all the power that comes after PP training. And as soon as the doctor introduced Miss X Fortune steroids to Mr. Jack Hanma, Jack fell in love with her and started doing PP training with her. Soon enough Jack Hanma started losing his PP and became thick, extra thick. He broke all the world records. Later he also killed polar bear Hanma and put him in doctor's lab. This polar bear Hanma was the product of Yujiro Hanma and the female polar bear. After seeing this giant polar bear in his lab, the doctor committed suicide as the writer murdered physics in front of him because how the fuck do you put this giant ass polar bear in this laboratory? Later Jack Hanma enters maximum tournament where he fought this Brazilian punching bag, this punching bag, this Russian punching bag and Goki Shibukawa. This is basically how Jack won all of these fights. And with Sama in tow! Look at that! More gruesome antics from Sama! Jack Sama lunches with his team! Go on, it's not like I can stop you. He's actually bit him! But when he fought Baki, he couldn't defeat him as Baki was a cheater and was using natural steroid known as Demon Back. Also during this fight, the relationship of Miss X4 changed steroids and Jack came to an end because Jack Hanma no longer had his pee, -pee. Nonetheless, the fight was great and here is a little recap of this fight. He's on the attack and with the ferocity that those teeth are chomping. After losing to Baki, Jack goes to Yujiro Hanma to defeat him. But suddenly this music started playing in the background and when this music plays, we all know what happens. Poor Jack Hanma gets a lot of his bones broken and his organs damaged. But our favorite Dr. Kureha Shinogi, yes the same doctor who performs surgery like this. Not only fixed Jack's body but also performed limb lengthening surgery on him which made Jack even taller. Which wasn't necessary in my opinion since in Baki world you have to imagine yourself as a 10 foot guy and you will become that 10 foot guy. But seriously every time Jack gets beaten he just gets taller. After less than a year Mr. Hanma became really tall and muscular. I guess Kureha Shinogi also performed some kind of muscle expansion surgery. After recovering he avenges Igari by toying with Sikoroski. Yes the same Sikoroski who later 
got kicked in the nuts by Gaia, who previously got kicked in the nuts by Bucky, the same Sikorowski who was hunted nude by Mr. Oliver and later in jail got the super power of sleeping on a wall. And people say that Ali Jr. got fucked the most. Jack also avenged Bucky by beating the simp out of Ali Jr. The only other thing Jack does apart from taking revenge is this. <laughs> Look at you. Literally, he keeps eating all day. I can't even imagine the amount of time he spends pooping. Here is a leaked footage of Jack from a restaurant's camera. Sir, you ordered 90 bone steak, 5 full cores, 4 whole pigs, 10 gallons of water. So that will be $3000 and a tip will be great. Do you accept shirt? Because I want to pay with shirt. I'm really sorry sir, but I don't know about that. It's a payment option. I have not heard about this payment method sir. <laughs> Oh, this one. Yeah, yes, we, we do accept shirt as a payment option. That's what I thought. Later Jack goes to fight Motobe, but Motobe not only defeats him, but also mocks him by handcuffing him. Motobe didn't break any of his bones, so sadly Jack didn't grow any taller. Later he also reached out to Pickle and started fighting him. But this fight just turned into romance and both started kissing each other on a whole other level. What amazing way and position to kiss though. But since Pickle was a beast, so he kissed Jack way too hard and ripped his mouth. Sometimes later Jack became unconscious, maybe because of the bad breath of Pickle. Maybe millions of years ago Pickle wasn't brushing his teeth twice a day. But even after losing his consciousness, Jack still moved his arms and showed two middle fingers to Pickle. Now you guys might be wondering that how can he do it? Well after hospitalizing Jack, Dr. Shinogi explains to us viewers that in Baki universe even if a guy dies he can still move if he has a great desire. Which I strongly agree on because last time when I fell inside a volcano I just casually walked out of the lava as I had amazing mental strength and a great desire to live and watch Baki season 5. Later Jack again goes to Pickle and again gets defeated. Then after getting consciousness Jack once again goes to Pickle. But this time Pickle grabs Jack, climbs a building like a King Kong and ties Jack upside down to a pole so that he can later eat Jack. Let's see what the writer will do to Jack in future. Hopefully Jack gets stronger and not only taller. I also have a discord server guys where we all can come up with even greater ideas, grow the Baki and overall anime community. Also through my discord server you guys can chat with me and suggest me new ideas. Or you can just talk about anime with other like minded anime fans. And we can do a lot of other things on discord server which we cannot do on youtube. So if you are interested you can join the discord community by clicking the link in the description below. That's it for the video guys. Hope you guys like like the video if you did then you can like the video and subscribe the channel also don't forget to turn on the notifications bell and join the discord server the link is in the description below